Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I invented a self-lighting cigarette. That's right. I am not joking. I am completely serious. Today I have invented a self-lighting cigarette. And also today, I am not only going to be smoking the cigarette that is self-lighting, but I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make it in today's video. It's a pretty simple process, I ain't gonna lie. But before I go ahead and hop into, well, showing you guys how to make the self-lighting cigarette, I do just want to acknowledge that you guys should not try this at home. Don't, don't try this at home, even though I'm showing you guys how to do this, don't try it at home. Smoking cigarettes is not safe, and this is probably slightly more unsafe than normally smoking cigarettes so you you should not do this at home and then the second thing I want to acknowledge is that I'm not actually the inventor of, of self-lighting cigarettes there have been self-lighting cigarettes for years and years and years uh, no self-light cigarette brand has ever been particularly successful so there are none on the market anywhere anymore I want to say but they did used to exist back in the 50s and 60s and I've been looking for a pack of those and they are uh, very hard to find. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to find a pack of those but if I can I certainly will have to give them a smoke but to hold myself over until I have the opportunity to smoke a 1960s self-lighting cigarette, I figured, well, I'd might as well go ahead and just invent my own. The materials you're gonna need to make your own self-lighting cigarette in today's video is, well, of course, some cigarettes, then you're gonna need some matches, and then you're gonna need a, uh, fake Leatherman, specifically a fake Leatherman. A normal Leatherman won't work. First off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your Leatherman out of its leather pouch, and then after that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just button it back up, put that back on the ground, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab your matches. Make sure you don't have it upside down so they all spill out. And there we go, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just grab one of those out just like that. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and unfold your Leatherman just like that. And then you're just gonna wanna go right about, so I'm just holding it like this kind of thing, you're gonna wanna go right about, I definitely have to say there. Let's go with there and let's see if I can cut it right there. There we go. Perfect, let's just let that drop on the ground, you know what I'm saying? And that should be about the length I want. Next up, you're gonna wanna grab your pack of cigarettes and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab, well, a cigarette out of your pack of cigarettes, which I have now just done. And then it's a very simple process from here. All you're gonna wanna do is you are just going to twist the match head into the cigarette just as deep as you can get it, but still with a little bit poking out. And that is all you need to do. Now we have a self-lighting cigarette. Or at least I think, because I haven't actually tested this out yet. I haven't actually tested this out yet. So I don't know whether this is actually gonna work or not, uh, but I certainly do hope that it does. And I do suppose there's no better way to find out than the moment right now. So let's go ahead and grab my, well, matchbook right here and let's go ahead and try to get my self-lighting cigarette all lit up without using a lighter or anything like that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see if this works. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing some issues. I am seeing some issues right now. So while that did light very easily, I was kind of jumbled around. I should have really gone like that or something like that kind of thing. I should have really done that. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one real quick because uh, I don't think this one's gonna work in all honesty, if I, if I had to guess. Uh, that went out really easily. So maybe I should have, maybe maybe another thing. I did put a bunch of the stuff inside the, where the actual tobacco is. Maybe I should have all of it sticking out so it actually burns properly and everything like that. I think the tobacco probably snuffed it out a little bit faster along with me kind of jumbling around and everything like that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one real quick. I'm just gonna grab another match out. I'm glad I didn't put my Leatherman away. I, I love this Leatherman. I've had it since I was a kid. It's been great to me. It's been great to me. I, it really is very helpful. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I think this is the first appearance it's ever had in a video, though. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So let's just go ahead and cut it right about there. Just drop that on the ground. Pick that up later. And now let's go ahead and grab another one of my cigarettes out of my Edgefield Red Pack. And let's go ahead and grab that out. And let's just go ahead and do the same thing I did before, just go ahead and twist it all in. It's a very simple process, definitely a little bit more of a pain than just lighting a cigarette with a lighter, I will admit. But I mean, like, hey, if I could manufacture these, uh, would there be a market for them? I, I doubt it, I doubt it. I don't think there would be a market for them in all honesty. But without further ado, let's go ahead and give the self-lighting cigarette another go and see whether I actually have invented self-lighting cigarettes in today's video. So I'm gonna be very careful with this one. So let's go ahead. 
Okay, I don't think I actually put it in enough. I think that's the issue with this one. Because it's just kind of sliding around. That's a little bit firmer. Okay. So let's try this again. Oh. <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> wow. That is canoeing to the next level. <laughs> is canoeing to the next level well it's lit up and that's all that matters i definitely would say don't do this at home kind of thing don't do this at home this is not a good experience it's just so much easier to light your cigarettes with a lighter don't do this at home but it is pretty funny to be able to say that yeah i can light my cigarettes without having to hold a match without having to hold a lighter to them i can just strike my cigarette on the matchbox and it lights up it's pretty cool to be able to say that uh but in reality it doesn't actually work all that well And that canoe is now fixing itself. It's no big deal, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Honestly, though, it, uh, it does have a very pleasant sort of woody taste coming through, uh, which makes sense because there's a decent amount of the wood from, from the match coming through. It makes sense why there's a decent amount of a very nice woody taste. Uh, but I got to be honest, yeah, the woody taste is pretty nice. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is smoking pretty well now that it's fixed itself. And uh, yeah. This is a self-lighting cigarette right here. Worked pretty well. I have no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, I do have complaints on my behalf because it doesn't really work super well, uh, but it did work. So I'll take what I can get kind of thing. I'll take what I can get. Uh, it did work. I wouldn't do this again, though, in all honesty. I, I would not do this again. It's just one of those... It's a, it's a gimmick kind of thing. It's a gimmick at best, uh, which is why, from what I can tell at least, and I, I need to do more research on self-lighting cigarette brands that have existed in the past, uh, but from what I can tell at least, those cigarette brands didn't really exist for all that long, maybe five years at max per brand. But there have been multiple different self-lighting cigarette brands throughout the years, uh, but they never really, they never really worked all that well because the issue was them is they, what they literally did is they put the same stuff that's on the tip of matches on the tip of the cigarette and so you just strike it like a match kind of thing. But the problem with that is, is that if you don't get it lit up the first time, like I did in today's video, then you've either got to smoke a different one or you've got to use a lighter, which defeats the whole point of it being a self-lighting cigarette. On top of that though, the cigarettes apparently were not very good. <laughs> the cigarettes were apparently not very good. Uh, they, they just did not taste very good kind of thing. The, the phosphorus apparently did not, or I don't know if it's actually the phosphorus or what it was. I don't know what's actually on a match chip. I can't remember in all honesty. Uh, but whatever they used for the match chip did not taste very good. So the cigarettes did not taste very good. Uh, so it was one of those things where it was more of a gimmick than anything. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm going to go pick up a self-lighting cigarette and then, oh, it'll be really funny. It's a, it's a party trick kind of thing. And that's all it is. It's a party trick. It's not something you can actually really use in any real fashion on a daily basis. It's certainly not a replacement for a lighter. And either way, even if I was smoking self-lighting cigarettes, honestly, I'd keep a lighter on me anyways, just because I carry it. I've been carrying a lighter on me for way longer than I've been smoking cigarettes. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. You never know where you're gonna need to light something on fire. That's for sure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta stay prepared. Preparedness is the first key to survival, you know what I'm saying? The first key to survival. But overall, I mean, like the cigarette itself, not bad. Tasted pretty good at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Tasted pretty good at the beginning with that nice woody taste. Certainly no complaints on, be on my behalf. And uh, now, now it's just normal cigarette. There's really nothing different. So there's some chemical taste coming through. It's just the Edgefield Reds, though. It's not the, it, it's not the fact that it was a self-lighting cigarette. Uh, overall, eh, would I do this again? No, no, I don't think I would do this again. I don't think I would do this again. The taste from the, from the matchstick was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but if there was no taste from the matchstick, I don't really think it would have been all that great of a taste. It would have just been a normal cigarette kind of thing, if not worse. Uh, but, I mean, like, yeah, it's not bad. I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't recommend any of y'all try this at home, of course. Uh, but I'm glad I, I'm gl I am glad I had this experience. I am glad I had this experience, that is for sure. It's an experience I'm glad to have, uh, but not an experience I want to have again. Let me just put it that way, y'all. But yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Well, 
I, I just said, certainly, I just said, I just said, certainly no complaints on my behalf when I was literally just talking about the complaints on my behalf. But, you know, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Either way, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no. Overall, glad it worked. Disappointed it didn't work the first time, but hey, it is what it is kind of thing. It is what it is. Glad it worked the second time, that is for sure. I would have been, I was, I was a little bit scared when I saw it canoeing that it wasn't going to work. And I'm glad it all fixed itself. I'm glad it fixed itself because I have not used a lighter in today's video. And I did not hold a match to the, to, to the cigarette. Instead, the match was inside the cigarette and I struck the cigarette on the matchbook. And either way, self-lighting cigarettes are, are kind of, are, are kind of, it, 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 there's really no point to them either way because even I mean, like to light the cigarette, I mean, like I heard with one of them that you could light it on like the bottom of your boot or something like that. But let's be honest here. I've tried lighting matches on the bottom of my shoe before. It's never worked. It's never worked. I've never gotten a, I've never gotten a match to light on the bottom of my shoe before. So how realistic is that? So in reality, you're going to have to carry a book of matches around with you anywhere or just an empty book of matches or just a striker strip or something like that kind of thing around with you anyway to actually get it to light in any real fashion so you'd might as well just carry a lighter <laughs> you'd might as well just carry a lighter there is no self-combusting cigarette there is no self-combusting cigarette this might be a self-lighting cigarette it's not self-combusting though i can't just think about it and it combusts although i'm sure elon musk is probably working on that i ain't gonna lie y'all But, yeah, very minor complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Very minor complaints on my behalf. I do think without further ado, I think I've already said my final thoughts. So as such, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the cigarette. And then after that, I'm going to go and finish off the video right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And that is the cigarette just about done. I'm just going to go and stub it on the ground real quick. A little bit of tobacco left, but not enough for me to care to smoke i will admit i think i would have gotten a filtery hit on the last hit so i'm glad or on the next hit so i'm glad i ended it when i did i ain't gonna lie y'all but thank you very much for watching this video where i invented a self-lighting cigarette and smoked it i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and if you guys have enjoyed watching this video of course please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content i have my instagram my book my merch my p.o box and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out you know what i'm saying but yeah, until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.